and welcome back to a sims 3 speed build so this is the house that i was building with the build with me series so if you have not checked that out and you would like to see it more in real time and actually see me build this in real time and tell you all that i am doing to build this house uh, go ahead and check out that series on my channel uh, this house I did not have a name during the entire series so you all went ahead and gave me lots of names so I had several to choose from so thank you so much for um, giving me names to go with this house because I hate naming houses and I would have to say out of all the names I received during this series which was quite a few the most common out of everybody was a name that dealt with the cherry tree so there is a cherry tree on this lot and that was probably the most common uh, name. So I went ahead and chose the Cherry Wood Lane, which was one of the names that was chosen or that was put onto the comments for this house. And like I said, it was the most common one out of everyone. So thank you again for naming this house. Um, this house uh, ends up costing your Sims 104,642 simoleons. If you get it unfinished, it'll cost your Sim approximately 56,000 simoleons. It sits on a 20 by 25 lot uh, and it is starting to storm here. So if you happen to hear thunder or lightning, that would be what it is. Uh, hopefully until I am done and get this saved, I sure hope I do not lose power because I really don't want to have to uh, re-record re this. So hopefully we make it through because here just came some thunder this storm seems to be rushing in here pretty quick um i'm not exactly a fan of storms to be honest so uh but here just in the house um working on the roofing area of it oh my goodness the wind is like really picking up i'm not sure if you guys heard that or not but uh yeah anyway so if I stop talking and I'm just kind of like silent, that's because I'm probably looking around, the, you know, checking outside, <laughs> making sure everything's okay. So anyway, uh, just going through, it's just a basic house, uh, nothing too special. Um, I wanted it to kind of go a little bit with the rest of this neighborhood of this town. So that's kind of why um, style wise is pretty similar. <clears throat> color wise is completely different this house is more brown as you saw in the thumbnail uh, and while the other houses are more dark and colored um, so yeah the rain is really picking up now so I apologize <laughs> again well anyway um, yeah so this is the house uh, just going through doing the siding uh, pretty much doing everything that I normally would do which is usually the exterior and then I usually pick my siding colors um, I don't normally have too much of an idea on what I'm doing when I'm building I usually just start somewhere and then go with that go with the flow and make different changes as I go along um, I don't think I make too much in the way of changes on this house I think for the most part the the style kind of stays the same I don't think I do too much adjustments. I think there's a little bit, but not a whole lot. Uh, with coming back to this one quite often because the series, sometimes you see things that you want to change and sometimes, uh, you know, you just have different ideas going away from your computer, your game and coming back, you just think of something different. So, uh, so there'll be quite often that it might look like I'm skipping or bouncing around. That's just in between the clips from one part of the series to the next. So I promise you there isn't anything missed. Um, it should be have everything in here, all the building of the of the house. So putting in just here, trying to figure out again the house, trying to get everything figured out. I decided I wanted to do like a diagonal part of the deck here. I thought that would be a little interesting. And just adding a little bit more, um, like I don't even know if you really want to call them bump outs, but just sections of the house where it kind of comes out out a little bit from the rest of the house just kind of gives it a little bit more detail here just going through and doing the uh, chimney area I've done this before with the chimneys but sometimes I usually do it in the front of the house but in this case I decided to do it in the back I was thinking about having two fireplaces in this house but then when I started doing the decorating um, it just I ended up not working I don't think anyway at least I can't quite remember I don't think I kept the fireplace in the back of the house there but maybe you know it just has the remnants of having one at one time 
Uh, maybe it was taken out, but it would have been in the dining room. So where that one is, is in the dining room, and I can't remember anymore if I kept it. I want to say I didn't because the house really doesn't have a ton of room. Um, the house has... Oh, three bedrooms and a nursery, which sounds like a lot, but because the nursery could probably be put into a small kid's room, so you could make it a fourth, four bedrooms in this house, but the house really isn't all that big, honestly. <laughs> so I was going to try to put something up here just to try to make it look, you know, it just seems so much roof up there, but it didn't look good. I didn't like it. I ended up taking it out, so... Yeah, I just kind of, I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, I'm putting in cheats. <laughs> I was like, um, I don't really know what I'm doing here. But yeah, I don't like it, so I take it out. So there, it's gone. <laughs> Sometimes they don't always look good. You guys just try it, take a look at it, just see if you like it. Um, I do that a lot. I think I'm going to like something, and then I don't. Uh, so yeah, it looks like, for the most part, this is the house color. I don't think I change it. I usually try to decide my house my house color before coloring my entire house because that's just too much time to go back and changing it. So I try to come up with the color beforehand. So I'm just going ahead and get rid of all the extra pieces of the roof. You really don't need them and sometimes depending on the style of your house, depending on where your roof is, they can cause shadows on the exterior of your house and I don't like that. So I always get rid of the unnecessary roof pieces. I like to color everything black that my sims cannot go. So like the attic is usually colored black. Um, the crawl space areas are usually col uh, colored black. Just everywhere where my sims cannot go. So, um, but yeah, we are only seven minutes into this video. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking for quite a long time. It doesn't feel like it's been se seven minutes. It feels a lot longer, honestly. <laughs> But again, just put in some more cheats. You're going to see me put in cheats probably quite often because every time you reload your game, you have to put your cheats back in. So I did that with the wall and the stairs because I like to have that foundation like area underneath the staircase. I don't like leaving it open. I don't know why, but I feel like that gives it an unfinished look. So I don't really care for that. Um, this backyard of this house ends up not being really all that big. I do put... A small like little play area just like a swing I think no teeter-totter and a slide and that's pretty much it I really don't do a whole lot in the backyard actually none of the yard really at all um, I put some plants but that's about it so I don't really find decorating the exterior the plants and everything to be very much fun so I just don't do it uh, just me fighting here trying to figure out what kind of windows I want. I get tired of using them same windows all the time, but I can never find other windows that I like to fill in the space. So, and unfortunately, I would have liked it to be faster or, you know, be different, but I can't, I, do, I just can't come up with other windows. <laughs> so just gonna go ahead and put in some uh, shutters here, you know, raise them up a little bit so they fit the window better. Um, I do use a mod that allows me to move things up and down. I don't think that has anything to do with the shutters, though. It does with the cabinets. Um, cam oh, and the mirrors. Cabinets and mirrors and curtains. You do not need the mod to have that. So if you ever download one of my houses and the cupboards, mirrors, or curtains seem to be on a different level, uh, don't worry, you don't need the mod. Uh, if you do move them or delete them and then you want to put them back or you want to do the same with another set of curtains, um, you're going to have to have the mod to do that. So, uh, But anyway, just going ahead and putting in some more of the windows here. I did speed it up quite a bit, but unfortunately, uh, you know, it's still still kind of long it still was over 30 minutes on the video so uh the storm seems to be it seems to be passing uh it's still pretty windy out it's still really dark <laughs> my room got really really dark while i'm sitting here trying to record so now it's kind of making my eyes like work too hard to look at the screen but that's okay <laughs> that's all right um it doesn't seem to be raining quite as hard. It's still thundering out, so hopefully, hopefully we'll make it through this video. Um, but 
Yeah, so just going through and doing, um, I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Oh, fence. It's hard to say what I'm doing because I, I mean, I kind of bounced around a little bit when I was doing this series, but not too bad. Um, I did end up forgetting to put railings in. I do do that at the very end though, so don't worry, the railings will get me put in. I'm uh, just trying to figure out the last bits of the coloring here uh, of the deck. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say, honestly, you guys. Um, I've actually been quite busy. I do have um, another house I am building, so don't worry. I do have another one. Uh, I just don't seem to be getting back to getting working on it, unfortunately. Uh, so here we just started another part of the series. Oh, that's right. Um, I accidentally forgot to record the landscape. So there's a cherry tree that this house was named after. Uh, I forgot to put, you know, I forgot to record at that time. So actually, I think I recorded it, but I think I deleted it. I'm not sure what I did, but I couldn't find it. No matter what I did, I couldn't find it. So, um, but yeah. So that was a cherry tree, um, and now I'm just kind of moving some of the plants out of the way because I hate having plants inside my walls. I wish they would disappear. I, I mean, even in Sims 4, the darn plants, they go through the wall. Why can I not make it where the plants do not do that? I don't know. I wish, I wish they didn't, but unfortunately they do, so getting rid of those, putting in the stairs so you can see a little bit of me putting in the... Um, the way the house is going to work, you know, the layout. There is no laundry room in this house. I do tend to put laundry rooms in my houses quite often, actually, because I feel it's realistic and I like the laundry, you know, the laundry feature in Sims 3 a whole lot better than the laundry in Sims 4. Laundry in Sims 4 irritate me. I mean, you really have to have mods just to make it playable. I can't stand the fact that when I tell my Sims to go get laundry, they don't start the washer on their own. I hate that. I realize you can add stuff to the washer, but I wish they would just start the washer on their own. So I have a mod to make them do that. Most of the time it works. Same with if I'm moving the laundry over to the dryer, I wish they would just turn the dryer on on their own and that I didn't have to have a mod to do that. That's just stupid. They do it here, and I realize I had the feature to clean the, the lint tray, but you know, I still have my Sims do that even before I tell them to move the laundry. So it's not like you couldn't do it before they turned it on, because you can. So, but yeah, um, I do like it in The Sims 3. It does make me a little bit more happy. It gives my Sims something to do, because sometimes my Sims, they have absolutely nothing to do, and that just helps give them stuff to do, so... Um, but yeah, this time no laundry. So don't worry. If you hate laundry, this house does not have laundry, so you won't have to worry about it. Um, this kitchen for some reason was glitching out. As you can see, that shadow was driving me nuts. Um, then I end up having another problem with the cabinets. The cabinets were changing colors on me or doing something weird. As you can see, I'm like really fighting with them. They were being a major pain. I ended up having to restart my game just to get them to work right. It was stupid. <laughs> But you can see, I'm just like fighting with these stupid things. They were really making me mad. So if you ever had this problem, just save your progress. Restart your game. Because as you can see, I was trying cheats after cheats after cheats. And the stupid things just were not working right. So yeah, just go ahead and restart your game. That fixed it for me. So, so I'm actually going, I believe I actually put, yeah, I put in some count, uh, upper cabinets. I really hate the game's cabinets because... They are just way too big, and the only ones that are not super big are these uh, old-fashioned country kitchen ones. I think they come in the base game, but you know, honestly, I'm not really too sure. But they are the only ones. And I thought I was making this house without store content. Why do I feel like that I just put in a flower pack? I am so sorry, you guys. <laughs> I did not want to use store content. What content? What the heck was I doing? I put in... Well, that flower pack that I just put on top of the refrigerator, that comes from um, the uh, the bakery. So I apologize if you don't have the bakery. The bakery is not free. 
I put in other stuff in this house that was free for you to download. I did not realize I did that. I apologize. I am sorry. Um, hopefully that is the only thing I screwed up on. That way, if uh, you download this house, you don't have the bakery. Hopefully not some big gigantic statue shows up on top of your refrigerator. So I apologize. <laughs> So just going through and doing the recolorations of the cabinets, making them white. I've been doing that a lot lately, having white cabinets in the kitchen. I go through phases. Sometimes I do wood cabinets, some, you know, and then I go through phases where I do the white cabinets. It just all depends on what mood I guess I'm in. I'm just putting in a backsplash here. Uh, if you want to know how to do backsplashes like that, it's just um, the paneling. Just make sure you pick the stone in the background that goes with the lines of the paneling so you can't see it. And then you can do a wainscoting like that with the, the trim. It'll have the trim on top, then you can have the stone, and it just makes it look pretty polished off and nice and clean. And then it also allows you to do whatever, you know, keep the same paint color than above. Like if you're a kitchen, in the dining room are connected like this one is you can have the same color going from your kitchen to your dining room and still have the stone below so I really like that but anyway yeah you know, so just going ahead I decided to go with the blue kitchen it looks like because honestly I couldn't remember what color I picked the beginnings of this video are just so um long ago that I really don't remember what all I did to be honest it's been too long so just going ahead and putting some more stuff on the counter uh, that, oh, what is it? I don't know. It's a wall decoration thing. It has, looks like, I don't know, bathroom stuff. I tend to put that into the cabinet or the counter. Don't worry. Your Sims can still use the counter because it's not considered to be on a spot on top. So they'll still put their food there and plates and whatever else they decide to put on there. So it's still usable. So just putting in some more little decorations. I really like using these uh, these tables. I believe they come from late night. Is it late night? Or is, you know, I don't even know, to be honest. I have no idea where anything comes from. I just use it. I don't know. I just go through my list of all my objects and just pick what I want. <clears throat> so here is just a little quarter bath that I went ahead and put in. I like to have at least, you know, a bathroom downstairs for Sims to use, especially the guests. Although Sims, they don't care whose bathroom it is. It could be your master bedroom. You could have six bathrooms in your entire house and they'll still choose your master bathroom where your Sims could be in there woohooing for all they care. But they're going to walk right on through anyway and they're going to use that bathroom. So just going through and getting the colors for this bathroom done too. It's a pretty simple bathroom, nothing too spectacular. Um, I try to put plenty of things in the bathroom to make your sims happy, but sometimes, especially with a quarter bath, it can be difficult to have enough decorations and things in it to make your sims happy. But I do try, I do try to make sure there's at least a painting if I can and different things on the on the sink to help. I think rugs help too. As you can say, just put a plant in there and some of the books just to try to help. I mean, who doesn't want a happy sim when they're in the bathroom going poop? So <laughs> I, mean, I just try to make sure every room my sims get the lovely decorated or whatever you want to call it moodlet just to help their mood make them a little bit happier. Nothing wrong with that. So um, yeah, we are now like almost 20 minutes in and still have like 15 more minutes to go. I have no idea what to say you guys. There is not really anything going on in my life right now so my life is quite boring and it doesn't help any with this whole COVID crap happening so um our area that I'm living in is probably going to be going on lockdown again uh, I'm hoping, I mean, I would like to think, basically the job that I do, I shouldn't have to stay home. I didn't have to stay home the last time that there was a lockdown, but it's getting to the point where it might happen again. And that does kind of bother me a little bit. Um, it is not good on the economy. I don't care where you're from. It's not good on your economy for business to shut down. It's not good for the factories to shut down. It's not, it just, it's just not good. 
Um, so I just really, really hope that, you know, everyone is safe and that we can all get through this and you know and maybe in some way or another we can kind of go go back to our lives <laughs> to the way it was before um you know maybe don't feel quite so scared that you can go into the store and not worry every time somebody coughs because most of the time the person coughing is probably coughing because of allergies or they're coughing because there's something in their throat, not because they're sick, but you're paranoid. You are paranoid to go anywhere because if by any chance you happen to breathe and something gets in your lungs and you have to cough like a madman, <laughs> you don't want ever, you know, you don't, you're paranoid that people are going to like get mad at you because they think you're sick and you're really not. So I don't go anywhere right now, you guys. I have been staying home just because I just, it's just not the same. I don't, if I don't have to go anywhere, I'm not gonna go anywhere. So, but yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't really have, I mean, I have my opinions on the whole matter, but I tend to keep to myself because there's too many people who will get mad and really that's not really a reason to to really talk about it um kind of i i no need to argue with somebody so i usually just keep my mouth shut <laughs> but yeah um but anyway let's, let's just get back to the house and not talk about any gloomy stuff even though it is storming out and it's dark and it's making the house gloomy and making my mood gloomy, but that's okay. We are building a house and that should be good stuff. So we're doing a little bit of an office area. This landing area was big enough and it had this little nook thing happening over here. And I like to make that like a little office space. I mean, offices or computer areas don't have to be in their own room. Um, if you have a little space like this, like what I have, go ahead and make it, you know, work for your sim to have a computer there. So, might as well. So, I try to decorate the place as much as I can, um, because it was quite big. So, I try putting plenty of bookshelves and plants, you know, a little sitting area here for your sims to sit and read, um, you know, and just just a variety of things to help fill in the space because I really didn't know what to do with this space. You couldn't really cut it up anymore and make it any different. So it's just kind of on the larger side, but that's okay. Go ahead and do what you want. I mean, it's plenty of big enough to make it where, like I like to make little baby gates so my, ba my toddler Sims can't get to the stairs because, well, you know, they're kind of dumb and they get stuck and then your Sim goes up and down, up and down the stairs, and they can't get to the toddler sitting at the top of the stairs. So I tend to put in little baby gates. Um, and you can go ahead and make that a play area. Go ahead and get rid of everything and just put all the little toys or something there. So, um, you know, anything that you want. I don't care if you change my house designs. I don't care if you redecorate them. I don't care if you just delete everything in them and then make it a shell and then just do the whole house differently. Go right ahead. I don't care. As long as you don't re-upload it, you know, as your own or at all, don't re-upload anything actually that somebody else does because that's just kind of rude and mean. But anyway, as long as you don't re-upload anything that I create, I don't really care if you do it for your own personal use. So change things however you like. Uh, so this is just another like bathroom for anybody really to use. Um, I guess you could say it's kind of like the kids bathroom upstairs because the master bedroom has its own bathroom. So uh, yeah this house apparently has two bathrooms, two full bathrooms and a quarter bath. So that's a decent amount of bathrooms. Um, this is the master bedroom. I decided to go in a purple color and then I created what looks like a bench seat in the little like window area, but your Sims can't sit there. Sorry, they can't. It just looks like they can, but they really can't. I use this ottoman. It looks like an ottoman is what it looks like, but it's supposed to be a coffee table. I'm not sure why it looks, it's supposed to be a coffee table. It looks like a cushion. And I don't know about anybody else, but I wouldn't want to put a drink that I had on something that looked like a cushion and because my luck it would fall. 
and then spill on the floor and then stain whatever I had. Uh, so yeah, I would not want to do that. So I tend to use it all the time. I never use it as a coffee table because again, this thing right here, it don't look like a coffee table. So I never use it that way. So I'm using it here as to make like a bench seat and then I use the shelves behind. I redecorate that to make it look like it's the continuation of the, the cushions there. And I kind of put stuff on it like they do have stuff sitting back there even though you probably still wouldn't because it, it would probably, you know, it would fall. So, and it was kind of a struggle to find a striped pattern that would match as close as possible to that cushion because um, it needed to go the other way. So, yeah. But, you know, just a little different things. You know, I set up here, you know, that flower vase obviously wouldn't be able to stay up here because you'd sit down and knock it over. But, you know, these little toys and knickknacks probably be okay. Your perfume bottles, probably not. But, <laughs> you know, it, it's okay. I, it's not like the Sims actually can sit there. It's not like they can actually use the items. So it's just merely for decoration. So, so yeah, here is the master bedroom. I think it turned out really pretty. I think I saved that wallpaper in my um, my settings or my presets or whatever because it was really pretty. I really liked the way that turned out and yeah, I think I might use it again somewhere else. So I ended up making another nursery set preset in um, during this and I showed you know showed you in the series how to do that. So um, you know again if you would like to watch a series you can. It's one of the last videos. It's not the very last video. I think it's the third to the last. So that would be what part number nine because I think there was 11 parts. I believe it was part number nine where I did the presets for the nursery and I made a whole new set in the yellow color. And I believe I even gave the color um, hex number. I think that's a, I think that's what it's called. Um, that way, if you want to use that yellow, you can, because I always find yellow to be a more difficult color to get right in the Sims. Um, it always looks dirty or brown or it looks too, too bright or too, I'm not really sure how to say it, but yellow, I always find to be the hardest one to get and have it look right. And I believe I managed to do that and get it right in, in that nursery that I did. So I went ahead and saved it, made a preset of it, went through and made a bunch more matching furniture to go with it. Just makes it my life easier to already have the colors pre-done. Um, so yeah, here I am trying to get some kind of stone. I really liked that red stone. I mean, I don't know what it was about it, but something about that red stone there with the brown to go with it. I really, really liked it. And I was trying to get the shower to kind of incorporate that as well. But the red just was not doing it for me. I liked it on the side of the wall, but I was not liking it in the shower or the floor. It was a little much. So as you can see, I do end up changing it. I don't keep it throughout. I think I just keep it in the, the wainscoting portion and that's it for a little bit of an accent color. So then I use that color to kind of accent on the rugs and stuff like that to make the rugs and the towels just kind of bring that red in a little bit more uh, because I did I did end up liking that so this is again I don't know if I said it this is the master bathroom um, and just put in another painting again there's a plant and some magazines there a couple of paintings um, a few things on the sink to help your sims mood and then the rugs of course gotta have the rugs because otherwise you probably slip so there was the end of that video for that series. So here's the nursery. Here's where I end up finally getting the yellow. And I did like the yellow and making the changes. Because it usually looks, as you can see, I'm going through all these yellows, trying to get it right. It usually looks dirty or dated or grungy or too green. <laughs> but to get the right yellow, I always find it very, very difficult. So I do finally get it. Right here is the yellow. Um, I don't have it wrote down what the yellow number is. So if you want that yellow number, 
to use for yourself, you're going to have to watch that part that has it. And here I am recoloring all of these as well. But uh, yeah, you'll have to watch that to get the number because I'm sorry I did not write it down. I said the number in the part instead, I believe. I believe I did. So yeah, I'm just go ahead and do the nursery here. Um, I don't think I keep all that furniture. This is an odd shaped nursery, an odd shaped room in general because it has the, um, the dormers and stuff above the kitchen and dining room area. And like I said, it really wasn't, wasn't really big enough when it come to using it as an actual bedroom. I mean, it would work for a bathroom if you wanted another bathroom, but I already had the bathroom placed, so I didn't want an, another bathroom. So we, I went ahead and made it a nursery instead. So this is kind of how I end up decorating it. So um, I don't use those curtains because they're store content. I was just showing in the video that I had curtains that I had, you know, that I thought were really, really cute that I also use for my, you know, presets but I did not put them in. So like I said, so far it looks like, unless I miss something, it looks like that bag of flour in the kitchen is the only thing that came from the store. So again, I apologize for that because I was not wanting to use store content in this house. At least not any that costs any money. I, I only used free stuff other than that bag of flour, so. Um, I came back and realized, you know what, this wall is really plain, so I added a painting. And then I went back in the last two bedrooms. This is the last part that I did for the series, so, which means it was probably number 10 then. Part 10 has the nursery being decorated, I believe, because I believe I did both of these bedrooms, because I didn't want to drag it out to another part just for bedrooms. So, yeah, it would be part number 10 that I had would have that color. If you're interested in that yellow color so so I ended up doing a child's room which you see here and then the other room will be like a teenage guest room I guess you could say so I don't remember what color I chose for this room even though this is the last one or the last video I had just posted last week but I don't remember so <laughs> Um, I may have picked green. It looks like it was probably green. So I toned down the colors of that wallpaper because it was just too bright, too out there. So a lot of times changing the colors and toning them down just gives it a lot, I think anyway, a lot nicer look. So just going through and changing to kind of bring out some more of the green. I like when I use bunk beds, I prefer them to have different sheets just because, you know, no two kit is the same and why would they want the same sheets? So just going through and just recoloring stuff. I am a creative style fanatic. I have a hard time. There's no way I could be able to build a house and not sit here and recolor everything. That would be a challenge I would fail. I would not be able to use just the game's presetted colors because in The Sims 3, they're awful. They are just awful. In Sims 4, you don't really have a choice. You are stuck with whatever they have because they don't have a creative style. But in here, I am spoiled and there is no possible way I could decorate a house and not use it. It just wouldn't be, it wouldn't be possible. I would probably quit the challenge before I finished it. Like I wouldn't even be able to finish the house. I would probably say heck with it and scrap it and delete it because it would probably make me too mad to try it, to try doing it. So that's not a challenge I ever intend to try. So yeah. Um, this is the last bedroom here. Um, I don't remember what color I went with this one. It must be the red color because the lamps are recolored to a red. Don't tell me I used this. I just now realize, oh my gosh, you guys. That is the same wallpaper or border that I used. Did, didn't I use that in the master bedroom? Oh my gosh, I think I did. <laughs> Normally I don't do that. I don't use the same patterns from one room to the next. But with having such a gap in between seeing the master bedroom and doing this room, I think I used the same, the same border. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I apologize for using a duplicate. At least it's a different color. At least they're not, not both purple. 
So going around now to doing the exterior, the last few items, here's a little play area, the teeter-totter and the slide. Um, I put in some lights, I think a few benches I put in. I do some, um, uh, oh yeah, I put in a table. Yes, I forgot about the table. I actually put in a table and chairs. So yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I ended up doing the terrain paint and some lights. And I think that is, it. oh yeah, in the garage. I almost forgot the garage. I, You know what, I think I've done that before in the past. It's been a while, but I think I have forgotten it before. I usually just put plain something or another in, nothing too special because I mean, it's a garage. Your Sims can't really do anything in it other than put their car so, and this is where I realized I forgot railings. So yes, the railings just got put in, doing the train paint here. Um, and yeah, just pretty much getting things finished up. The screenshots are on their way, so I hope you enjoyed. Again, go ahead and check out that series if you would like more of a real-time build. And uh, again, I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and leave your comments and any suggestions down below. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.